Hello learners this is self tuts and we are we are on our journey for the beginner course on vagrant till now we have seen so many concepts related to vagrant like what a vagrant file is what is the sync folder concept in vagrant and what are different boxes that are present in vagrant in this video we will learn about what is port forwarding concept so going to my slides you can see port forwarding is one of the networking concept which vagrant uses basically there are three networking concept that vagrant uses one is the public network another is a private network and the third is the port forwarding concept in this video we'll learn about port forwarding so suppose there is a host machine so host machine is the main machine where our virtual inside which our virtual machines run so in this case windows is our host machine inside our host machine the virtual machine is there and this virtual machine is being created by the vagrant so inside our virtual machine we can have multiple ports and one of the port is called port 80 so every server exposes some port like if you visit google.com then you are automatically visiting the port 80 because all http servers provide the content through port 80 so it is hidden but by default port 80 is used to serve http server pages so inside our virtual machine we have a port 80 which can serve http server pages and inside our host machine there is also a port port 80 so three through this port forwarding concept we link the port 80 in our host machine to the port 80 in our virtual machine so when we do port forwarding for our vagrant machine basically the same ip or the ip which has been provided to our host machine is provided to the virtual machine but only those ports are visible for virtual machine which have been exposed or which have been port forwarded with our host machine so in this case if the ip of our host machine is 192.168.10.11 then if we visit 192.168 10.11 port 80 for our host machine then the request will automatically get forwarded to our port 80 of the virtual machine so in this case the same ports are port forwarded but we can have the link between different ports so in this case the port 5000 in our host machine is linked to port 3000 in our virtual machine so if any user visits the link 192.168.10.11 colon 5000 it means he is visiting port 3000 of the virtual machine so you must have been thinking how to do port forwarding in our vagrant machine so basically inside our vagrant file we need to put this setting which says config my virtual machine for the network so configure my network of the virtual machine and forward the port where guest is 80 and host is 80 so we have already seen the concept of guest and host guest always means the virtual machine and host always mean the virtual machine in this case guest is the vagrant machine and host is the windows machine so this configuration says the port 80 of the host machine is forwarded to the port 80 of the guest machine so let us do some hands on experience with it so we are inside our terminal and we can go to the d drive and inside d drive we can go to workspace and this is the place where our vagrant machine lives so this is the vagrant file which says the configuration of our vagrant machine is that the box we are using is centos 7 and we have already seen in our previous video that we have synced a folder where the host machine folder is synced to the home vagrant self tuts folder and the type of provider is virtual box so let for now let the settings be like this and will since my machine is up since my vagrant machine is up i can go inside my vagrant machine so this will take me to the vagrant machine and as you know every linux machine has a http server or apache server by default so i can start my apache server by typing sudo service http d first i'll see the status of my server so it says that the it is inactive the server is inactive so i'll start the server 
and it will load this time if i'll see the status of my server it says it is active and running so all the http server runs at port 80 by default so if i'll go to my uh, chrome so if i'll go to my chrome and i'll type localhost since the ip to my host machine and for virtual machine is same so i can if i type localhost then it also refers to the virtual machine so through localhost i can refer to my host machine and my virtual machine since my port is forwarded so i'll use localhost colon if i'll type localhost colon 80 then it will say that the site can't be reached because we haven't done any port forwarding yet so you can see automatically the port 80 has been removed because it is the default port. Now we'll try to add the configuration for our port forwarding and this time we'll edit our vagrant file and inside our vagrant file we can say config.vm.network and in the network we can write forwarded port forwarded port and a comma and with comma we can write guest so inside our guest machine that is inside our vagrant machine it will be port 80 and inside our host machine it will also be port 80 so we can see that the configuration is something like that and we can see config.vm.network forwarded port guest 80 and host 80 so config.vm we can see that we are missing a semicolon and everything is fine for ordered port okay so the configuration is fine and i think this is not needed config dot forwarded port so now i'll reload my system reload my vagrant machine and it's to take the new configuration changes to take place so this can takes uh, some time because first it will try to shut down my machine and with a graceful shutdown it says that all the data that are present or any active work first it will try to save it and then it will do a graceful shutdown of my vm so we have to wait for some time so that the changes take place and so it has restarted and it is saying that checking the box version centos 7 it is is up to date it says the new version is available which which we have seen earlier also it is and this time you can see forwarding port so i have explained how the port 2222 in my host machine is forwarded to 22 which is the ssh port and this time my port 80 of the host is forwarded to port 80 of my guest so and the ssh username is vagrant and it is doing some settings so this is the syncing folder and this is the this folder is the sync folder so we can go inside our machine inside our vagrant machine okay so i'll do a clear and this time we'll start our http server so it says we can status we can check the status and it is active and this time we'll go to this and voila we can see that the uh, apache server or the http server on our apache http server on our vagrant machine we can access through it so what happens that the port 80 of my vagrant machine or virtual machine is forwarded or there is a link between the port 80 of the host machine and the port 80 of the virtual machine so if i am using local host here and accessing the port 80 of my host machine it is forwarding the request to the port 80 of my virtual machine this is all about port forwarding hope you like this video if you like my channel please subscribe to it and if you like my video then please give a thumbs up happy coding thank you